This is the real deal. This is about testing heart. When do you get to test your heart ever? If you're not willing to give it all, then do not continue. Future hasn't happened, it doesn't exist. Past has already happened, it doesn't exist. It's this moment, right now. In this moment, if we have oxygen, if we have water, if we have our wits about us, we're doing pretty good, aren't we? I want one minute. Every time it comes down, the time starts over. Pull your shoulder blades back, your uh, Put it right over your spine. Two. One, up, up, come on. Booyah, Kyle. Booyah. I don't think they've gotten to the point where they turn the physical off. They're probably still worried about, oh, my knee and my back, and I'm freezing and I'm chafing. They have not yet decided to turn all that off and start turning on the, let's forget about the physical, let's figure out how to motivate myself, let's figure out how to motivate my teammates. Oh, we got a winner! Right here! How do I get to the hard part? What I would do, it's count my breath. I wouldn't think about the pain. I wouldn't think about anything except for my breath. Focus on small victories. Small victories are big victories for some of us, right, Gerald? Small victories. Getting through an evolution. Getting through an evolution is a, is a big deal for Gerald right now. I'm going to hold this sandbag above my head for 30 seconds right, without cracking. That's a very short term hold. <laughs> You gotta collapse your reality to the now. Set very, very short term goals, achieve victory at them, then move on. Let those victories stack up, and the end result will be total victory. I think being efficient is definitely uh, definitely an advantage because they're going to be doing a lot of those. And if you're not efficient, it's going to really start hurting. There's hurt and there's injured, you know. So if they're hurt, you know, if something's tight or strained, it's, it's one thing. But if it's a true injury, it's, it's another. Um, so it's it's up to that person to really decide if they're really injured or not. Just went away. Right. Right. Orlando likes the water. Uh, every camp's a little bit different, so you don't didn't necessarily do this. Like we didn't necessarily do this. Um, they're all a little bit different, but I think by the time you get to this point, um, you're just kind of a robot. You can you just it's like okay, 50 more reps or 100 more reps or get wet again, get sandy again. Be the morale officer. Okay, sucks for everybody. Embrace it. Embrace the suck. Thinking this is awesome. <laughs> this is legit. This is, this is the real deal. Is it what you're expecting? Yeah. yeah. I need to be hard. How are you? How's it going so far? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, everything you expected? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tough. I'm not uh, getting some bad leg cramps, so hopefully that goes away or else it'll be a very uncomfortable weekend. Nico, how's it going so far? It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's been really fun. Uh, yeah. This is fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
at the moment I'm not like like even near by my physical limit, so it's easy for me. But things are getting like like mental because right, I, I, I believe they you keep us away. You know, you know. Me? Okay, three, three, three. Yeah. Four. Two, here. Jimmy's showing some signs of hypertension, so it's probably the end of training for Jimmy. Katie, unfortunately, had a broken toe coming into this, so she's no longer with us. I've always wanted to do some type of military boot camp. I uh, haven't had any real desire to actually be in the military, but always wanted to try and go through something that is completely, you know, out of the ordinary and hard and tough as shit. Down! Down! I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect so much fucking running, man. We lost one of our All right, we've lost a couple classmates, so we got to get this thing back in order. Tallest, shortest. Count off by sevens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Boat crew one. Do it one by one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy is like six inches shorter than all of you guys. Ford, where, where are you at? Reorg. Guys, we're gonna perform Murph tonight. It's 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats. Run a mile on both ends. Murph was a badass dude, that's all there was to it. This wasn't a hard workout for him. This wasn't a hero workout, an epic workout. This was Wednesday. He never stopped, didn't take breaks. So you shouldn't either. Good job, Bobby. Anything you want to do.